talk about staying even keeled when the hitless streak was almost 17 innings. Uh, as that's 16 and a third, it's the longest since at least 1961, I think. So it was, it was long. when you're going through that, does that feel like a test for that mentality that you guys you guys talk about that a lot, of staying even keeled? Uh, yeah, it's a little adversity, you know. Um, I'd rather have it now, you know, in June than, you know, October 1st or 2nd. Um, you know, so get a chance to go through this now. You know, you don't want to go through it, but, um, you know, every team needs a little bit of pet to kind of, you know, keep them in check that, you know, this, this is a hard game and everything's going to roll your way. And, you know, these guys, you know, nothing, they never waver this, you know, stuck to their plan, stuck to their approach and continue to just grind it out. And then Big G hit one about 120 to center and it was all good, so. How does this feel here when you play another top team like this, sold out weekend series, all four close to sell out? I mean, how is this? How is this atmosphere different than maybe a lot of other teams? Oh, it's when that team. Is well, I think the fans just know, you know, what's, you know, these two teams. You know, we're going to be seeing each other a lot probably down the road. We've seen each other a lot in years past in the postseason, and you know, anytime we play, it's always going to be a good ball game. So I think the fans just anticipate that and. Um, they bring their energy from the first pitch on, and you know, that's what you love. You look forward to these weekends and you know playing good teams and you know, just kind of seeing where you, you stack up in the AL. Your, your agreement seems very reflective of somebody who's very confident in himself that you took the compromise and then uh, the incentives were to win the MVP of the whole league and the MVP of the World Series. I mean, you know, that's, that's a bet a lot of people wouldn't make. Um, you just feel just so confident. Um, is that you? Is that you? Um, what, do, what do you mean? What are you? I mean, you just you just feel very confident about what you can do day to day. Oh, day to yeah. It, my my confidence lies in my teammates. You know, that's that's where it comes. You know, we got one of the best. We got the be <laughs> the best team on the planet, and you know, showing up to work every single day with these guys who are ready to work and ready to grind and. Um, you know, it just gives me confidence. You know, when I walk up to the plate, you know, there's no fear knowing that, you know, hey, if I get the job done, if I don't, you know, someone else is going to do it for us. So um, when you got that time of, you know, team chemistry, it, it makes it fun every single day. Aaron Boone talks a lot about this team's resilience. Um, what do you think is so special about this club this season, especially after a series like this? Well, after a series like this, it's just. You never know who's going to come up with a big hit. You know, it, it could be anybody one through nine in that lineup's going to do something big for you. And um, you know, for me, that's where it shows up in October. You know, it kind of reminds me of some postseason games. It's just, you know, big clutch hitting, um, moving runners over. You know, great defensive plays all around. It's just, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You should think someone's going to do something special. And you know, when you got that, you know, type of energy and things going on, it's it makes it fun. You know, I can't really describe it. It's just. It's been fun.